what's up guys and welcome to this video tutorial we are going over the 2018 ieb maths paper uh maths paper 2 and we're doing question 11. okay so um we've been given a nice diagram basically most of the information um has been given to us on the diagram some important points is that uh, a k and c are points on the circle and that ok uh, sorry, EK is perpendicular to AC and goes through point O, where O is the center of the circle. Okay, so basically that's um, all we really need. And we have also been given, if we look at part A, it says if OE, so that's that distance right there, is equal to 0, 0,8 units. Okay, find the length of EK. So what we're looking for is that length right there, EK. Okay, so what we're going to start off by doing is finding one of these sides. Um, so we can say that AE is equal to 4 units. Okay, so this is 4 units and this is 4 units. And the reason for that is we can say line from center perpendicular to chord. Okay, so knowing that um, AE is equal to four units. If we drew, if we draw out this uh, if we draw out this triangle, we get something that looks like this: four units, zero comma eight units, and we have a ninety degree um, right there. So um, that's this line right here. So this is OA. Okay, but it's important to realize that OA equals OE because it is the radius. So we can say that OA equals OK. And that's the reason is because it's the radius. Okay, so if we work out OA, um, that's the starting point. So using Pythagoras, we're going to say that OA squared, or the square root of that, is equal to the square root of 4 squared plus 0, 0,8 squared. And that gives us that OA is equal to 4,08 units. Okay, so now we know that OK, let's say that, OK equals 4,08. And we've also been given that OE equals 0, 0,8. Therefore, we can work out EK quite easily. EK equals um, OE plus OK, which would be equal to 4,88 units. OK, and we get four marks for that. So that was the easy part of this question. Then we get to quite an interesting question. Um, this is the kind of question that you really need to um, focus on so that you can get these marks. Okay, So it says, you cut out the shape above and fold it along the dotted line AC so that you create a triangle on the vertical plane and the circular, so the triangle is on the vertical plane and the circular shape is on the horizontal plane. Okay, so this is normally vertical, and we usually consider that horizontal, right? So basically what you need to imagine is what you've done, let's just try to draw this, right? So once it's been cut and folded, so you're folding along this line right here. So if you looked from on top, all you'd see is that right there. So if you looked from on top, all we'd see is this because we've, we've folded this vertically upwards. So we folded this vertically upwards. So from the top, that's what it looks like. Um, we have a nice, nope, that is an eraser. We have this going there, we have O there. Okay, and we know that these are four units and four units. Okay, but then if we looked at it from the side, so if we looked from this side, so if we looked at it from the side, all well, we're going to see is something like that, right? And like that. So this part right here would be the circle. This part right here is with the circle. And this part right here is the triangle. So this would be the triangle. So that's if we looked at it from the side, right? And the height of it would be unknown. So that height here is this height right here. So we're looking at it from the side, and this would be the point E, and this would be the point K. So I hope you guys are able to visualize this. So if I had to draw like a, 
kind of isometric view of this. It would look something like a 3D view. It would look something like that. Well, not really. But basically, you need to try and understand that the height here is what we're seeing, right? This height here and this height here are equal. Okay, so with us kind of having visualized that, it says calculate the straight line distance from B to K once it has been folded. Okay, so from B to K. So it's not exactly a straight line, right? It's not, it's not exactly just going to be that distance there. Okay, so if we were to look, let's just say that point B would be somewhere here. And then if we're looking from on top, that's what we'd have, point K. And if we look from the side, B would be up here. And point K would be somewhere like that. So that's what we're trying to kind of get at. Okay, so um, with that being said, okay, so how are we going to go solving this problem? Okay, so first of all, a very important thing that we need to know is this height. We really need to know this height. Because technically, we already know the distance EK. That's what we calculated before. EK was 4,88. If we get that height, if we know the height, then we can use Pythagoras because that is a 90 degree triangle. Right? So how are we going to do or get the height? So getting the height, um, we're going to have to use the cos rule, okay? So for height, use cos rule. Okay, so the cos rule says that, okay, so um, we're going to start off by looking at the opposite. So let's just label this quickly and see. So let's label this A, B, C and this angle theta. So the cos rule says that a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2a, sorry, 2bc cos of theta. Okay, so using that, let's see, a squared is going to be 29 is equal to b squared. Um, so my b is going to be 8 squared, so that's 64, plus uh, C squared is going to be 13 minus 2 times BC, so it's 64 times 13, or the square root of 13, cos of theta. Okay, so theta is this angle right here. So if we wanted to solve for theta, we can say that cos of theta equals, um, so that's going to be 29 minus 64 minus 13 all over minus 2 times 64 times the square root of 13. Okay, then we plug that into our calculator. We take the negative cos. So we say theta equals cos to the minus 1 of all of that. And we get that theta is equal to 33,69 degrees. Okay, so now that we have that angle, we want to calculate the height, so that's quite easy, right? Because we have the square root, uh, square root of 13 sine theta is equal to our height, our h. So we can solve for h quite easily because we know that theta equals 33,69. So we can say that h is equal to 2 units. Okay. So, um, now that we have the height, what other things do we need? Okay, so to work out the length BK, I need this distance right here. I need that distance because we have a 90 degree triangle there, and then we can get the, we can use Pythagoras, right? So what I would need to work out is how long is that, or what is the distance between that and that? So what I'm going to do is now I can use, um, so we already worked out that, okay, so now I can use cos rule. So I can say that the square root of 13 cos 33,65 is equal my distance here. Let's call this distance d, right? So is equal to d. So I can solve for d quite simply. 
So D is equal to three units. Okay, so let's just tidy up this picture a little bit. So basically what I have now is I know that my height here is two units, my distance here is three units, that means my distance um, here doesn't really matter. My distance here, um, so I need to know that, and I need to know that BK distance, right? So that's just things I still need to know. So now I can work out the distance from this point right here, this point right here to K. And how I'm going to do that is I've got this distance here as 4,88. I know this distance here is going to be 4 minus 3, which is 1 unit. So I need the distance um, and label that point D, right? DK. So DK. So uh, let's just do it on the side here. So distance DK equals or dk squared equals, I'm using Pythagoras, um, that is going to be my hypotenuse, so that's going to be 4,88 squared plus 1 squared, and dk comes out, dk is equal to 4,98 units. Okay, so now I know this distance. Let's clean up once more. This is quite an interesting question, but now I know this distance is 4,98. I know this distance is 2. I know there's a 90 degree triangle. So I can work out BK squared square rooted using Pythagoras once again is equal to the square root of 2 squared plus the square root of 4,89 squared. And so I can work out that BK is equal to 5,37 units. Okay, so quite an interesting question. Very, very interesting. Um, let's just go through the steps of that um, just to make sure you guys understood 100% um, because this is probably one of the harder questions. So the first thing we did, well, the first thing we needed was this angle here, right? And to calculate that angle, I used the cos rule using these three distances. And we got that distance to be 33,69 degrees. Okay, then what I needed was to calculate this height here. So that was my height h. So I knew this angle theta, so I used the side and the angle to get me h, which came out to two units. Then I needed to calculate this distance right here, from the point here to point k. So I needed to know this distance in here. We already know that from here to here is four units, and from here to here is four units. So basically, I needed to calculate this distance here. And I used the square root of 13, cos, right? Just simple trig, cos theta, and that came out as three units. So four units minus three units gives me one unit here. Okay, now I know this. So now I know this point right here. Let's start drawing on this, this point right here. And I know this distance right here as well. So I needed to calculate this length here, the hypotenuse. I did that using Pythagoras, and we got that distance to equal 4,98 units. Okay, now what I did is, now what I did is, I had all these nice pieces of information telling me that this is two units, that this is 4,89 units, and there was a 90 degree triangle right here. So I could draw a hypotenuse, so if I looked at it from the side, it would look something like that. In case, 2 units, 4,89 units. And this was my hypotenuse, or my distance BK. Okay, and then I calculated BK, and that came out as 5,37 units. So this is a very interesting question. Quite, quite difficult, quite um, intensive to visualize, but I hope that by going over this, you guys were able to kind of see um, the thinking that was required to do this question. And you ended up with um, nine marks for it. So the first question, quite easy, uh, maybe some free marks, but the second question you definitely had to work for. But I hope you guys found this useful, and thanks for watching.